I mean, I've always held the perspective of how do you know that the Kongs are the good guys and the Kremlings are the bad guys? Sure, there's allegations by Donkey Kong and the Kong family at large um, that um, the Banana Horde belongs to the Kongs, not to the Kremlings. And you would think that this makes sense, right? Because, um, I mean, what need have the Kremlings for bananas? What you fail to recognize is that, um, though, I mean, I'm sure that the Kongs are shrewd capitalists and that they thoroughly enjoy the banana horde that they have. Um, but you know, ultimately, the price of theft is that um, the Kongs ought to be imprisoned for it. Now, I don't agree with torture, per se, but prison, sure. They have to pay the time for the crime they've served, a stealing of the banana horde, be it a blue-collar crime or a white-collar crime, there's no way that the Kongs, on their own, could have amassed such treasure. And so I declare victory, the Kremlings have won. And that's the way this should have ended. So yeah, thanks to 